In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. You are listening to Daily Bread Devotions with Father Eustace Yame, a Salesian of Don Bosco. Your word, Lord, is a lamp for my steps. Stay tuned. This is my day. This is my daily bread. Your very word spoken to me. It is Sunday, the twenty third of July, twenty twenty three, sixteenth Sunday in ordinary time. Today we are learning about patience. We have to imitate God in patience if we are to live long, if we are to also understand and become tolerant with what is happening in our world today. We won't forget to remember that today we also celebrate the World Day of Grandparents and the Elderly. This celebration was established by Pope Francis in 2021 when he said that the fourth Sunday of July near the liturgical memorial of Saints Joachim and Anne, the grandparents of Jesus, will be dedicated to the grandparents and the elderly. The theme for this year, 2023, selected by the Holy Father, Pope Francis, is His mercy is from age to age, taken from Luke chapter 1, verse 50. Participating in the proclamation of the Word of God for today are the following Daily Bread members. Emilia Na Yang from Koforidua, Ghana, celebrating her birthday today, takes for us the first reading. Gift Any from Wari, Nigeria, who celebrated the birthday yesterday, takes for us the responsorial sum. Doreen Nyamukondiwa from Buckinghamshire, United Kingdom, who celebrated her birthday yesterday, text for us the second reading and proclaiming the gospel is Father Don Nika, a Salesian of Don Bosco, working as a missionary in Albania, Eastern Europe. Let us pray. Show favor, O Lord, to your servants and mercifully increase the gifts of your grace that made fervent in hope, faith, and charity they may be ever watchful in keeping your commands. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. First reading. You give repentance for sins. A reading from the book of Wisdom. Wisdom chapter 12, verse 13, 16 to 19. There is no God besides you, whose care is for all men, to whom you should prove that you have not judged unjustly. For your strength is the source of righteousness, and your sovereignty over all causes you to spare all. For you show your strength when men doubt the completeness of your power, and rebuke any insolence among those who know it. You who are sovereign in strength, Judge with madness, and with great forbearance you govern us, for you have power to act whenever you choose. Through such works, you have taught your people that the righteous man must be kind, and you have filled your sons with good hope, because you give repentance for sins. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Responsorial Psalm, Psalm 86, 5 to 6, 9 to 10, 15 to 16a. Response is taken from Psalm 86, verse 5a. And the response is, O Lord, you are good and forgiving. O Lord, you are good and forgiving. 
O Lord, you are good and forgiving, full of mercy to all who call to you. Give ear, O Lord, to my prayer, and attend to my voice in supplication. O Lord, you are good and forgiving. All the nations you have made shall come. They will bow down before you, O Lord, and glorify your name. For you are great and do marvelous deeds. You who alone are God. O Lord, you are good and forgiving. But you, O God, are compassionate and gracious, slow to anger, O Lord, abundant in mercy and fidelity. Turn and take pity on me. O Lord, you are good and forgiving. Second reading. The Spirit himself intercedes for us with signs too deep for words. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Romans 8, verse 26 to 27. Brethren, the Spirit helps us in our weakness, for we do not know how to pray as we ought, but the Spirit himself intercedes for us with signs too deep for words. And he who searches the hearts of men knows what is in the mind of the Spirit, because the Spirit intercedes for the saints according to the will of God, the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Gospel Acclamation, Matthew 11, chapter 25. Hallelujah. Blessed are you, Father, Lord of heaven and earth, that you have revealed the little ones, the mystery of the kingdom. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Matthew chapter 13, verses 24 to 43. At that time, Jesus put another parable before the crowd, saying, The kingdom of heaven may be compared to a man who sowed good seed in his field. But while men were sleeping, his enemy came and sowed weed among the wheat and went away. So when the plants came up and bore grain, then the weed appeared also. And the servants of the household came and said to him, Sir, did you not sow good seed into your field? How then has it weeds? He said to them, An enemy has done this. The servants said to him, then do you want us to go and gather them? But he said, No, lest in gathering the weeds you root up the wheat along with them. Let both grow together until the harvest. And at harvest time I will tell the reapers, Gather the weed first and bind them into bundles to be burned. But gather the wheat into my barn. Another parable he put before them, saying, the kingdom of heaven is like a grain of mustard seed, which a man took and sowed in his field. It is the smallest of all seeds, but when it has grown, it is the greatest of shrubs and becomes a tree, so that the bears of the air come and make nests in its branches. He taught them another parable. The kingdom of heaven is like leaven, which a woman took and hid in three measures of meal till it was all given. All this Jesus said to the crowds in parables. Indeed, he said nothing to them without a parable. This was to fulfill what was spoken by the prophet. I will open my mouth in parables. I will utter what has been hidden since the foundation of the world. Then he left the crowds and went into the house. And his disciples came to him, saying, Explain to us the parable of the weeds of the field. He answered, He who sows the good seed is the son of man. The field is the world. And the good seed means the sons of the kingdom. And the weeds are the sons of the evil one. And the enemy who sowed them is the devil. The harvest is the close of the age. And the reapers are the angels. Just as the weeds are gathered and burned in f with fire, so will it be at the close of the edge. The Son of Man will send his angels, and they will gather 
out of his kingdom all cause of sin and all evildoers and throw them into the furnace of fire where there will be weeping and gnashing of death then the righteous will shine like the sun in the kingdom of their father he who has ears let him hear the gospel of the lord praise to you lord jesus christ we are dealing with the parables of christ we started with the parable of the sower last sunday and today we are with other parables the parable of the weed and wheat, the parable of the mustard seed, but the main parable for our focus today is the parable of weed and wheat. This is a very serious parable because it tells us of the nature of God and the nature of human beings. It exposes both God and humanity. Human beings, including myself, are very impatient. Human beings want quick answers to things. That is why they react to end a conflict. And in the end, that conflict they want to end never ends because it brings about another conflict. And so humanity is ever at war because it is not patient. Listen to this. The Lord tells them, the kingdom of heaven may be compared to a man who sowed good seed in his field. And that man who sowed good seed in his field is God himself. In the beginning when he created the world, everything was good. He found all that he had made very good. So where did the confusion come from? This is the question of evil. Answering to the question of evil, how did it come about that God, who created everything so well, can now have something that is not right? When God created the world, he rested. When he created humanity, he was set on his toes. Because humanity lacks patience. Our patient God took time to bring this world into being and our impatient humanity is taking no time to destroy what God brought into this world. And we see this happening at night when everyone is asleep. When everyone was asleep, the enemy came and planted the Daniel. Daniel in Latin is lolium temulentum. That is Daniel, which in Greek is zizania. Now look at this zizania or lolium temulentum. The character of this is that it is a pasture grass, a cereal a medical herb, but it is also poisonous. It looks like weed. And Jesus had to use that example to explain to us that, wait a minute, be careful when you are dealing with weeds, do not be in a hurry to uproot them. The servant said to him, do you want us to go and gather them? No, lest in gathering the weeds, in gathering lolium temulentum, you may end up uprooting the wheat along with them because they take roots and they go underground to intertwine with the roots of the wheat so that when you are uprooting the lolium temulentum, you may end up uprooting even the wheat because they are inside, they have taken root. That is why we should be careful in dealing with evil. We should be careful in dealing with lolium temulentum. It is inside us. The weed is inside a good man. The weed is inside a good woman. A man who is so good, who professes to live a very good life with his spouse, may end up exposing his lolium temulentum and going after other women instead of keeping his spouse. And now the Lord is saying, let them grow together until they harvest. 
Let them grow together. I am a patient God. I'm not like you. Let them grow together until the harvest. The immediate reaction when we see these things happening is to suspend somebody, is to deal with somebody. When we see these things happening is to go and find the other woman. I've seen this happening back at home at shopping malls where you see somebody coming to grab this woman and they start a fight. Who will know the difference between the wheat and the weed? If you start doing that, you are just showing that you are also a weed. You are just showing that there are deep roots of lolium temulentum inside you. You are just showing that zizania has taken roots. And we want to say, no, Lord, help us to learn from you your patience because our God is so patient when he sees what is happening in our world today, he doesn't react. He sees a lot of evil going on in our world today. And that's why the psalmist says, if you, O oh Lord, should mark our guilt, Lord, who would survive? But with you is found forgiveness. Why does the Lord not react to things? Because he is powerful. That's exactly what the first reading tells us today. The first reading tells us about the nature of God. There is no God besides you whose care is for all men. This is the book of wisdom that some of you may not be privileged to have in your Bibles because it is found in the decrocanonical Bibles known as Catholic Bibles. Get hold of those Bibles. They have a lot of wisdom and the book of wisdom gives us this wisdom of God. There is no God besides you whose care is for all men to whom you should prove that you have not judged unjustly for your strength is a source of righteousness is a strong God and your sovereignty over all causes you to spare all. That is our God. You know why he doesn't react? Because he's sovereign, because he's powerful, because the people who react are very weak. When you see people who are cheeky, when you see people who want to show aggression and are short-tempered, those are very weak people. Strong people are patient. Strong people don't react to lolium temulentum. Strong people allow the zizania to continue with its character, but they remain standing. They will not be shaken by whatever people are saying. They will not be shaken by the evil around them. No, they are going to influence that evil to become wheat from weed. We have so many weeds in our world today. And we won't make it worse by joining the weeds. No, we are not lolium temulentum. We are not the donor. We are the wheat meant to feed others because that's exactly what the wheat does. It feeds people. It provides bread. It provides energy to others. We are supposed to provide energy to others. We are supposed to give life to others and not death. Lolium temulentum, the Daniel brings death because it's poisonous and we won't make things worse at all. By adding more poison. When somebody insults me, I want to insult back because I'm very weak. When somebody does something terrible to me, the first thing I think of is showing that person. I will show him. The moment you say like that, you are just telling me. The lolium temurentum has taken roots down inside you and you are just displaying the wheat outside, but there is a lot of weed inside you. Imitate God who is patient and show your strength by your patience. God shows his strength by his patience and he wants us also to be patient people. The Lord who is forgiving as we heard in Psalm 86 of the responsorial Psalm. Oh Lord, you are good and forgiving, full of mercy to all who call to you. 
But you, O Lord, are compassionate and gracious, slow to anger, O Lord, abundant in mercy and fidelity. That is our God who is abundant in mercy and fidelity. You know why? Because he is powerful. You know why you are not abundant in mercy and fidelity? Because you are weak. You know why you cannot forget about what that person did to you and why you are full of vengeance inside you? I will tell you, you are very weak. That's the reason you are very weak. Learn from the strength of God. Show your power by being tolerant. Show your power by being patient. Show your power by being kind to other people. The kingdom of God will grow when we have more wheat in our world today. The kingdom of God will grow when patience grows within us. That is why all the other parables that Jesus gave tell us about this. The kingdom of God is like a grain of mustard seed, which a man took and sowed in the field. It's the smallest of all seeds. But when it is grown, it is the greatest of shrubs. It takes time to grow. And so it requires patience to allow that kingdom to grow, to allow people to change. They may be stubborn. They may listen to this word today and still go back to their useless ways, to their foolish ways. But patience, they are going to transform And once they transform, their transformation will be permanent. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Blessed Sunday to you. Thanks be to God. This is my daily bread. Your very word. Spoken to me. And I. See you.